Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about Ocala Docs. So, curious is imaging. So, Toxo curious is in the eye can be in form of Ocala lava migraine sclerosing and ophthalmitis, granulomatous retinal nematode infection. In the imaging, enhancing granulomatous nodule posteriorly in eye with inflammatory feature, posterior pole of eye almost away unilateral. In CT, nodule mass without classification, White is hypodensity due to retinal detachment. In a more intravitreal membrane, retinal detachment, enhancing a retinal nodule. Ultrasound, ecogenic nodule, granulomas, white dress membrane, and retinal pole. So let's see the first case. This is the axial contrast enhanced CT. So mildly enhancing the tool was severe in the right eye. Adjacent choroid retinal sickening represent inflammatory change, post inflammatory membrane, retinal pole, and or subretinal reflection. So this is the finding indicate for Hogland Doxo. And second case, this is the axial T2 access or more. So a small retinal base mass at the posterior pole of the globe representing granulomatous reaction at the side of the S5 nematode lavas. There was no calcification on CT, no other retinal complication in evidence. This is the axial T1C plus FSMO, so moderate enhancement of a retinal base nodule at the posterior pole of the right lobe representing granulomotus reaction at the site of its five nematode lobes. Again, this is the axial T2 up as a mole, so a posterior uveitis without retinal detachment secondary to toxocariasis as a hypo-intense lesion in the retina. This is the case in ultrasound where thrown transal ocular ultrasound, so the so an echogenic nodule at the posterior part of the globe, the corresponding to a toxocranuloma. An intravitreous membrane is seen as standing from the nutrient. And this is the second case of ultrasound in case of toxocariasis. So, reveal a corneal shaped structure in addition to the optics in. A, The case of child with toxocariasis. So, what is the management for this case? First one, we have to understand how to prevent it. proper hygiene of the hospital. We can use anti hematic Mebendazole, albendazole, corticosteroid, manage polio white charges, effects of anti therapy, surgical vitrectomy, 
and separate one setting, or we can use photo cooperation. Thank you.